Hey everybody, here I am doing my coming clean day three. And the reason that I'm doing this going onto Facebook Live is because it is giving me the consequences. The consequences for me not to eat healthy would be to come onto Facebook Live and then have to share, you know, I, I kind of fell off, which is fine, um, you know, because people do fall off. I've fallen off. When I say fall off, I mean eating something horrendously huge like a Boston cream pie from Dunkin' Donuts, which is one of my favorites. And uh, it's so funny, here's Jeff joined because he's, he's in the other room. I thought he was watching TV, but there you are. If you have a question, Jeff G, please do ask me, or you can even come in and ask me, which is fine. Anyway, I um, so here's, here's the thing, and I, I showed this the other day, and Sarah said I should keep it up a little longer. So that's it, yeah. January 2019, I was 205 pounds. I yo-yoed up and down. You know, I lost five, I gained four, I lost six, I gained three, that kind of thing. Until I, about three days ago, I weighed myself. I was 191. Yesterday I was 189 and also this morning I was 189. So I expect that that's totally going to happen because I know that that does happen. Um, a lot of what I'm losing right now is probably water weight. I don't care. I feel so much healthier. And for me, this is all about being happy. I am the happiest that I've ever been. And that is because I'm living in the present moment. I'm living in the now. And uh, I think the th here's the thing that happened to me being fat and even obese. I hate to say it, but that's what I was in that. I, I'm still probably in that obese range. It's just such a horrible word, isn't it? Obese. Anyway, um, I think one of the reasons that I became fat was because I was not aware of being fat. So when I first came to the US, and I'm going back to 1983 now, I came over and I was really slim and I was wearing, I can remember these gorgeous leather pants that I had and I just looked fabulous. I, I didn't even think about my weight. You know, that's how slim I was. It wasn't even on my radar to think about how slim I was. And then over the years, I've just kind of put weight on, just, you know, a couple of pounds here, a couple of pounds there. And then 30 some years later, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm fat. I can hardly say it. I, I'm fat. Um, which is fine because I woke up to the fact that, yeah, I am actually overweight. And it's not even about how I look. It's about how I feel. When I'm eating crap, when I'm eating junk food, when I'm eating lots and lots of chocolate, when I'm eating, you know, the Boston cream donut, my favorite food from Dunkin' Donuts, um, it's, it, it's only for like, it lasts like a minute or so. It lasts a minute or so. And then after that, for, for minutes, hours, day, waking up next morning feeling crappy, you know, and, and kind of a little pain, the, the, the stomach, the gut in pain. So that's really more of it. But, but here's the other thing is, um, so I look at my face in the mirror in the morning and it's like, oh, you know, and I'm putting a bit of makeup on and my little cute earrings and, you know, and I'm smiling at myself. So I, I'm like, oh, I look great. And then I will see a photograph of myself or catch a picture of myself in a mirror. And then it's like, oh, my God, I'm so fat. And it doesn't like feel like me even. And, you know, big boobs and the whole thing, big arms. <laughs> so I think this must happen with probably other fat people too, is like we don't actually realize that we're fat because we look in the mirror, we check our hair and everything, and maybe even in a long mirror. But we kind of like, you know, I, I kind of look at it like, you know, I, I kind of like, oh, yeah, I look okay. And, you know, I mean, I don't really take in the whole immensity of myself. And um, so I think then I put myself to sleep. I think, I don't know if other fat people do this or not. I can't, I can only speak for myself, but I definitely put myself to sleep until those moments when I'm going to buy a new outfit and now I'm in the changing room and now I'm like, oh God, you know, 
in my bra and pants and like seeing the whole thing and the lights are so bright in there and, oh, and then nothing fits you know it, like those are the the horrible moments and then um you know you back so then if you're fat like like i am or was kind of now i'm losing weight but you know tendency to buy tents moo moos that kind of thing that hide the figure and it doesn't it just doesn't really feel great for me anyway now i know that there's lots of um you know fat people out there who are really happy and it it obviously doesn't bother them because you know they look great they look happy uh, you get models who are, you know, modeling big clothes and stuff. They look great. So I'm not, I don't want to come off as like critical and judgmental of being fat. But for me, it's like, you know what, enough. It just doesn't feel great. So um, that's where I'm at. And uh, yesterday I, I did really well. Now, here's the other thing is, though, I don't want to go on a diet or eating a particular food or having cabbage soup or you know I just I've done that for me it totally doesn't work for me it's about waking up being in the present moment what am I stuffing my face with right now what am I putting into my body how much energy do I need and I'm working on enjoying the feeling of being hungry because that's kind of where it's at um, I'm on 1200 calories a day and um, so yesterday I ate, I ate really well had a salad had this that and and then I was going out for the evening and I wanted to have a glass of wine which has got a lot of sugar in so a friend had told me you know instead of wine why not have vodka which I think has no sugar and um, club soda which again has no sugar I'm sweating here it's a little hot and um, maybe it's because I'm coming clean <laughs> all the toxins are pouring out my body and um, then some little bit of cranberry juice and it was fantastic for me because a I, I don't like it that much that I'm just gonna glug 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 what like I would with a glass of wine so I had this one drink all night if I hadn't had that one drink, I probably would have lost a pound. I wouldn't have weighed the same 189 this morning. But you know what? Alongside losing weight, there is the happiness factor. There is the factor of joining in, having fun, not feeling like I'm losing out on anything. So, uh, yeah, I had that. So that's going to be my drink going forward. Vodka, club soda, and cranberry juice. And uh, so that's it, everybody. I'm just feeling great. I, um, I've i eaten everything that I need to eat today. And uh, I'm not going to eat anymore. So my thing, again, is that I go clean my teeth now. Clean, floss, can have a cup of tea, glass of water, boom, that's it. Love you all. Thank you for helping me to come clean. I appreciate it. And uh, see you tomorrow.